market. Now today, Tuscaloosa reached a big mark in the road to recovery. The city's final shelter providing temporary housing for tornado survivors closed its doors. WVUA's Daniel Sparkman has more with the story. After six weeks of providing shelter for Tuscaloosa residents who lost everything in the April 27th tornado, it's now back to normal for the Belk Activity Center. All of our uh, shelter guests were able to transition out. Uh, it's been a, a long process, but certainly uh, with our partners uh, like FEMA, City of Tuscaloosa, Tuscaloosa Housing Authority, and others, uh, Salvation Army, we've been able to get it done. We're excited that today it came where we were able to see our, our uh, residents of Tuscaloosa move on to a lot more comfortable locations, we believe. Uh, I, I think that. You know, they've spent a lot of days. It's been a good group of people there. And, and you know, we're just, we're just glad to know that people are able, hopefully tonight, to sleep a little more comfortable in a more permanent location. But Chris Osborne with the Red Cross says just because the shelter is closed doesn't mean help is going away. Just because the Red Cross closes the shelter does not mean that we're rolling up the sidewalks and we're going away. Uh, this is where we'll start our, our long-term recovery phase, again, where we'll be working very closely with partners in the community uh, to make sure that, that any extended needs are taken care of. This also marks a big step for the city and the long path to recovery. It's just a, a really exciting phase to see us going into the rebuilding process. We know that we still have people in Tuscaloosa that are suffering and, and, and we recognize that, but we also know that we do have to begin to rebuild to help people to put their lives back together and to move on. At the height of the disaster, more than 500 people called the Belk Activity Center home. Now, six weeks into the recovery, that number is down to zero. In Tuscaloosa, Daniel Sparkman, WVUA News. The Red Cross will still be helping residents from their temporary location on 3 to 25 Skyland Boulevard.